Well, how are you today? Are you feeling upbeat and chipper? Or are you somewhat down in the dumps? Is your glass half full or is it half empty? Well, as we look at the news and read our papers, it's hard not to get a little depressed sometimes. Whether it's mankind's maltreatment against fellow human beings or acts of nature seemingly fighting back. It's very confusing. Now, I'm not suggesting for one moment that we turn our backs on current affairs or stop getting involved and trying to make a difference. But sometimes it's good just to stop, to take stock and get some perspective. So today, may we invite you to do something that we call the blessed test. If you wake up this morning with more health than illness, you are more blessed than millions who won't survive the week. If you've never experienced the dangers of battle, the loneliness of imprisonment, the, ag the uh, agony of torture and the pangs of hunger, you are ahead of 20 million people in the world. If you've come to listen to this without fear of harassment, arrest, torture or death, you're more blessed than almost 3 billion people in the world. If you've food in your fridge, clothes on your back, a roof over your head, and a place to sleep, you are richer than 75% of this world. If you've got money in your bank, cash in your wallet, loose change in your pocket, you are among the top 8% of the world's wealthy. If you've known both your parents for a long part of your life, you're becoming a rare breed. And if you can hear this message, you are more blessed than millions across the world who cannot hear at all or are being prevented from hearing. If you hold your head up with a smile on your face and can be truly thankful, then you are genuinely blessed because so many in this world can, but so many in this world don't. We are so blessed in so many ways. The trouble is we don't always appreciate it. So if today is a day you're a little bit down in the dumps and your glass is half empty, may I suggest that perhaps it's good to stop, take stock, and get some perspective. Why not take the blessed test and perhaps assess how blessed we are? And when we do that, why not take every opportunity we can to bless others? Just think what a difference that would make. Well, I don't know what you reckon, but it's got to be worth a thought. This Sunday, we're looking at the body beautiful Oh, no, no, not the pastor, but the way that God has brought his church together to be a wonderful body of believers to do his work. You will be most welcome to join us. We are just ordinary people who believe and trust in an extraordinary God. But for now, do take care, stay safe, and thank you for listening.